eventually you're going to want to remove or install software in Windows. And thankfully, it's really easy. So in this lab, we're going to learn how to do just that. Let's jump in. First things first, we need some software. So let's go to Google and we're going to go and track down a program called Notepad++. And it's basically Notepad, but with more features, hence plus plus. In fact, software developers use this program every single day. It's extremely powerful and you can create an entire program inside of it. So let's navigate to downloads from the main website for it and let's download the latest one. So we can see there's a download button and don't click the ad. There are a lot of ads on this website. What we want is the installer file. So there should be a little link right there. It says installer. I'm going to click on that. And notice in the top right, a little downloads drop down pops up and lets us know we've downloaded an executable or a .exe. Running that will allow us to install it. And we go through some prompts. They're all very straightforward. They explain some options. You typically have to agree to some type of license agreement. You can do a quick skim through it. Generally, they're all the same, just various terms of use that you won't steal or do anything malicious with it and such. And then we need to specify a destination folder. By default, software typically installs under the program files folder inside of Windows. And then typically there are additional components and in installers like file type extension options we can choose, plugins that come, and this is typically going to require a little bit of additional reading in terms of what you know about the software that you're trying to install. But generally speaking, the default options that it gives you should be more than enough. Just always double check it that it's not trying to install some adware or spyware or additional like browser search bar that can happen especially with free software like this there might be some type of ad tool that they want you to install with it so that they get some revenue or that's a sponsor for them that's the only thing you need to look out for next we have an option to create a shortcut on our desktop let's go ahead and check that off and then we'll hit the install button and complete the installation typically now you're going to see some type of prompt come up with some type of progress bar that just shows the general installation progress. And then typically there's an option to run the application right away. Cool, so this is Notepad++. And this isn't going to turn out to be a lab of how to use Notepad++, so I'm gonna close that, close the browser, and see our shortcut on the desktop that we just made. So that was the option we checked off, and now we can just execute a program from the desktop right away with a shortcut. Okay, cool, so now let's learn how to uninstall software. If we need to do that, we need to get to the list of installed software. So if we search in the bottom over here for programs, we'll find an entry for add or remove programs. That's what we want. Now let that load, and this will give us a full list of everything installed on the system. And there's Notepad++. If we select it and then hit uninstall, it'll bring us back to a similar menu like we saw when we installed it, but with some additional options. So we can go ahead and just complete this and let it run. We'll see some more progress and sometimes there will be an option to save your configuration settings so that if you ever need to reinstall it everything you had saved like profiles and other custom configurations would still be there in our case we're doing a full uninstall so we'll hit no and off it goes that's uninstalling software so not that complicated right windows makes it really easy all you need to do is get an installer file so an executable or a .exe also known as a binary and then you'll double click it, run through the install options, make sure that you're happy with all of your choices, and then let it complete and use the software as desired. Now, if you ever want to remove the software, just as we saw inside of this lab, you can search for programs and find the add or remove programs entry, and then find it in this list over here, select it, hit uninstall, and then we're done.